Welcome back to GameTalksOnline.com. I'm joined by Camilla Kovas after the Gamecocks pulled off Mississippi State to sweep the series. A crazy game, winning the first two sets, dropping the next two, but coming back strong with a 6-0 run to end the game in that fifth set. Let's talk first about those first two sets. What was going right for the offense? It was, I think, the second set you had almost 20 kills. What did you see kind of from the back line that led to that success? Um, the first set, the first two sets, I really think our offense was really being really aggressive and Mississippi State's walk was not getting to our like swings and that really helped us. Um, I feel like we also played a good defense, which fell in the next two, in the fourth and fifth set. But also we were being very aggressive in um, serve, in the serve line. That was really good and serve receive I thought was really good too. And it seemed like whichever team was in a rhythm behind the service line was going to have that success. The first two sets, you guys really were clicking. The second two sets, they were really testing you with those deep, hard-driven serves. What did you see as one of those backline passers? What was changing with their strategy in, that, in those uh, two sets you lost? Um, I just, they were really aggressive with the serves. Um, they really got us in service team. And yeah, it was whoever was in the back row serving, they were going to go for a rally. Um, the fourth and fifth set, I think they really, they were reading our, our swings and they got to the blocks, which was really, really effective for them. They were also tipping a lot, which we were not ready for, we we're not balanced. So that was really effective for them. And yeah, pretty much, yeah, that's about it. And it seemed like the most frustrating thing just watching the match was in the fourth and then early on in the fifth, they would kind of build an early lead and you'd get a little bit close, but not close enough and, and they pull away, whether it's a mistake on our side or a, a kill on their side. How did it feel on the court coming out of that fourth set and then them building that quick lead in the fifth? So it was, for me personally, I was, it was a battle. Um, we th I thought our energy was low on the fourth and uh, third set, which really affected our game and their energy was high, high on the, like, the best energy they've ever had, like, playing. Um, I, and well, personally for me, I was, just keeping my teammates like cheered up and like keep going like doesn't matter you make a mistake like it's okay like keep just keep going keep working um it was definitely tough mentally and physically like we've been playing like yesterday and we've been practicing a lot too so it was just that last push we had like that ga last gas we had in the car and i thought it was it really worked out for us at the end take me through what you guys were talking about on the court when it's 9-9 to lead to a 6-0 run that closed out that match what was working those last six points we really just had to take one point at a time so we were, fo we were focusing too much on like winning instead of like focusing on like one point at a time and that affected us but like we came together as a group we talked about it we talked about we had to like take one point at a time we had to talk in the block we had to talk in the uh, defense we had to talk in the back row like we we were constantly talking which I think it fell a little bit on the third and fourth set but thank God it pulled off in the fifth set.